Yo, what's going on guys? Liam Mitchell here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a Red Dead Redemption 2 video on um, basically uh, how uh, to improve your honor in the story mode. Now, just before we start, this may contain some spoilers as you can see around. So, um, make um, so if you don't want to see any of the spoilers, then you might just want to listen to the video and uh, not watch it anyway. So, uh, the way to improve honor, you can do chores around uh, camps. Um, this way you can improve your honor if you do all the chores. Now, another really easy way to improve your honor is if you end up go fishing and you can catch a fish, um, throw it back in the water and I'll give you honor. You do that for about 10 minutes and um, your honor will go up uh, pretty pretty fast. And um, that um, that's a... Uh, like a really effective way. Um, now, when you uh, spoiler alert right here, become uh, John Marston. Uh, he uh, has his honor um, halfway, because when I played as Arthur, his honor was all the way down at the bottom, and I could not be bothered bring it back up. Um, but then I started doing chores around the camp, and my honor went up quite a lot. I have lost honor though, um, but um. Yeah, if you do your chores around camps, and yeah, if you help out people, greet people around cities and towns, uh, you can improve your honor, and as well, the fishing technique. That one is probably so easy. All you have to do is just use bait, catch a fish, and throw it back in the water. Now, you should probably go in an area where there's lots of fish, like a river, or a creek, or a lake, because it is uh, very effective. Now, what I like doing is chores and doing all of them because your honor improves a lot when you complete all of the daily chores. And as well, going greeting uh, people around the camp, especially uh, Abigail and Jack, and as well as greeting other people. And it can be really good ways to improve uh, your honor. Uh, more ways. Um, now, this is how to put your honor, like make your honor go down. One is going on a rampage, killing people. Now, doing this will put your honor down pretty fast. There is actually a lot of ways to lose your honor. And uh, this can, it's actually a trophy to put your honor all the way down or put your honor all the way up. Um, so yeah, this um, is a good technique um, to do it. Um, going around killing people. Um, if you go around kill civilians, um, as if you go around killing civilians and looting them, looting someone who is innocent uh, will make it so you lose your honor straight away. So if you're also looking uh, to keep your honor up and not losing it, make sure you uh, don't loot innocent people and don't kill innocent people. As well as don't, um, actually another way is actually going around doing bounties. Because bounties would also probably improve your honor slightly um, because you're catching the criminals with the cops and your honor can improve um, if you complete all the bounties in the game I don't know if there's a trophy for it or a ward but I don't think there is but um yeah doing the bounties is really good so uh, we're gonna move on from the honor to making money so this is actually a glitch to do. Now this only works as Arthur. So if you're on John Marston now, spoiler alert, I know I should have probably said it before, but I already told you. Um, there is a glitch, a money glitch. Um, now it won't, I don't know really how to explain it, but it's a gold bar glitch and I don't really know how to explain it. I'm really sorry about that, but um, yeah. And as well, when you complete the game, you actually get a ton of money, you get over $20,000. And you can go on a spending spree with all that money. Um, as you see here, I am uploading a video right now where I finish the last mission. Spoiler alert, Micah gets killed. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, my ways of making money is going around doing bounties. Um, when you do a mission and you kill a bunch of guys, go around and loot them all before you move on to the next thing. If you loot them, they'll have money, and it won't put your honor down. Now, not all of them will have money, but they'll also have other things, which is really cool. Another one, one is if you get any pocket watches, rings, anything like that, you can actually go get yourself some money if you sell it at a fence. Now, the fences around the map mainly will just give you 
stuff like that. Um, if you go and sell like a ring maybe that you looted off someone or if you found it, um, then it will be, uh, yeah, you can do it nice and easy. Sell it and get a lot of money. If you also find gold bars, instantly go and sell them to fences. They will give you a ton of money. If you know where the Braithwaite's home, uh, spoiler alert right here, um, if you go ahead and actually, uh, if you kill uh, her, and then you come back as John Marston, you can go loot her body. She will have like this valuable, it's worth like $25, so it's not the best and not the worst. Um, but there's also, if you go around to the left where her body is, and then you're looking forward, then take another left, though, like where her body is, you will see um, there is actually uh, like a lockbox there. You go there, take it, it's worth $500, go and sell that to a fence, you make yourself a big chunk of money. That's done it there. Now, um, that's basically our whole video here. With the money that you get, you can go buy new clothing, new horses, buying food for your horse, buying food, buying anything else you want. Um, yeah, so now me completing the game, um, I'm probably done with Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe start over and try and be honorable as Arthur. So yeah, that's basically our video here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later all, and always wear your seatbelt on planes and cars.